Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Vario and Bima. That is the Poco X3 Pro, and this is day one of real life ROM review with Conquer OS. This ROM recently got an update, and I thought we should do a real life ROM review on almost each and every ROM in which I'll be using the phone for two to three days, and there will be one to two parts to this particular series in which time to time I'll be recording clips and then I'll be combining them into a video which will you know give you the experience of a real life ROM usage back in the day I used to do this on the OnePlus 5T now let's do it on these three wonderful devices that we have but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find the link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, let's see here. It's 12.30, the battery is at 97%. We have Conquer OS installed. We are using the stock kernel that is supplied with this particular ROM, that is the Shaldia kernel. We will be charging the phone to 100%. I'm going to customize it to my specifications. We do have all the applications that I usually use. My SIM card is in there. And once it is charged to 100%, maybe at 60 to 70% battery, I will go ahead and talk to you guys again. Till then, I'll go ahead and customize this ROM. I'll use it as a daily driver for calls, messaging, gaming, everything. And in two to three episodes, you should have a clear answer. What was my experience? See you in a bit. All right, so it is day two with Conquer OS on the Poco X3 Pro. Yesterday, we started at 100% and all the applications which I use daily, including ANX camera, I had got it installed. My personal SIM card is in there. So, you know, social media, making calls, using the phone for pictures and stuff. Everything is happening, but we have stumbled upon a roadblock today. Sort of a roadblock because I was having some issues with BGMI. I wanted to try gaming on this, but if you actually go to settings and you go to battery, you will see that it's giving excellent battery backup because we've had three and a half hours of screen on time, right? And if you go to battery usage, that is where my first problem is. You do see it says that 20 hours ago is when we had unplugged from charging, but it doesn't show the battery usage correctly. At the same time, the UI is extremely smooth, but it is slightly lesser smooth than how smooth it would be on Aero or some other ROMs, right? Now, to the left, as you can see over here, you have Google Feed, and sometimes I've been having multi-touch issues, which is really, really weird. Now, I've not tried charging on this yet. I have been using this for making and receiving calls, and I've had absolutely no problems at all. For clicking pictures and stuff, I have been using ANX camera and the built-in camera is of no use anyways, but the ANX camera for me has been working really, really great. I did run a few benchmarks. So let's go ahead and look at the benchmark numbers because in day three, I will be concluding this particular video and we will be giving you a final review in real life ROM usage as to you can use this as a daily driver or not or how good or bad this is. So let's go ahead and first talk about the CPU throttle test. All right. Now, the CPU throttle test over here, as you can see, the performance average is 127,421 GIPS and the CPU throttle 93%. Now, that is really, really disappointing. I did also go to Geekbench over here and uh, let's have a look at the Geekbench score. So 643 and 2670. And if we talk about Antutu over here, I did not run Antutu because we didn't get a really, really high score. Now, I will tell you this, that in the battery section, we do have a dedicated thermal profiles. And if you see, I did select the thermal profile for CPU throttling test as benchmark and for Geekbench as benchmark as well. So if you're someone who is looking at performance, hardcore performance is what your focus is then I really think you should probably switch to another kernel because Conquer OS over here, let's see if you go to about phone, you go to Android version 11, it comes with the Shaldia kernel. And I don't know what really went wrong because the last time I used Conquer OS, the performance was pretty good on Shaldia kernel. And this time I don't really know what really, really went wrong and what happened. Apart from that, you know, the customization using the phone for personal purpose, for banking and everything else has been pretty, pretty good. We will end day one and day two by summarizing that Conquer OS has been a mixed experience so far. 
I will still use it for one more day before I actually go ahead and make a verdict on it. Remember, I, we are yet to look at a lot of aspects like charging speeds, gaming experience. Are we having any bugs which will stop me from using this device as a daily driver with this particular ROM and stuff like that? Heating, all the other factors. So that will be tested in today's day and tomorrow we will conclude the real life ROM review. But as you can see, 10 a.m. today to you know around 12 or 12.30 p.m. yesterday afternoon is the time that I've been using it for more than almost 24 hours and the experience has been pretty decent but looking at the benchmark numbers I think the gaming will sort of suck so that's where we leave it at wait for the next episode of real life ROM review for Conquer OS on the Poco X3 Pro and remember similar episodes are coming for the K20 Pro with Siberia OS and with the Mi 11X a lot of custom ROMs and stuff like that let me know in the comment section for sure what do you think what else can we add to the real life ROM review until the next one this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps keep smiling take care goodbye